בוקר טוב, יום שלישי, still on the same time. And here we are now, have Pashat Chukat, Aliyat Shlishi. And this part, we now have the situation that has to be dealt with. B'nai Israel have no water. And they were right that they have no water, but in the way they complained, wasn't right. And Hashem comes down to Moshe and tells Moshe, Kach et ha-mateh, v'hakel et ha-eda, atar u'nechicha. Moshe, take your stick, gather the people. This was done 40 years ago, do the same thing. Get your stick, speak, and gather the people. And tell them to come with you. And I want you to speak to the Sela, Vihishkit, and I want you to give them water to them and to their animals. So Moshe takes his mate, he calls Bnei Yisrael together, and he tells them, Shimuna Hamorim, listen to me, you rebellious people. Hamina Sela, Zenu Silachen Mayim, from this rock I shall give you water. And Moshe lifts his hand, and he hits the rock twice, and water comes out enough to feed the entire nation and all their Be'iram and their animals. At that moment, Hashem tells Moshe and Aaron, Ya'an lo hemantim bilak disheni. You did not have enough faith in me to sanctify my name in the eyes of B'nai Yisrael. For that reason, lo taviyu et hakalase el haaretz Hashem tetlehem. For this one reason that happened in the 40th year, you and your brother will not bring B'nai Yisrael into Israel as you assumed would have happened to you in the past 40 years. And this place is called Mei Miriva, the water of coral. And here is where Hashem tells us that he made his name Kodesh. So we ask the question, was the punishment matching the crime? Well, according to Borei Olam, what he's saying to Moshe and Aaron is, had you spoken to the nation, it would have been a much bigger Kiddush Hashem. Hitting the rock was great for those who came out of Egypt. They were slaves, harder to get through to them. Hitting the rock showed them the beauty of God. This nation that was born in the desert and had much more understanding who God was would have been much more impressed by speaking to a rock and it giving us our water. And yet we see for that one reason, Hashem tells B'nai's Moshe and Aaron, you aren't leaders of the next generation. Let them go on with a new leader.